What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this brand new 2021 Ford Mustang EcoBoost. Huge shout out and thank you to Morrisville Ford. They're providing this new Mustang for today's video. Check out the link to their website in the description below. They have a huge selection of the 2021 Ford lineup, so definitely check them out. And the model that we're looking at today is finished off in Twister Orange and has an MSRP at $34,400. Underneath the hood, this utilizes a 2.3 liter turbocharged four-cylinder EcoBoost engine that cranks out 310 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque. The engine in this spec is paired to a 10-speed automatic transmission and sends the power to the rear wheels. And with a curb weight around 3,500 pounds, you can expect 0 to 60 come in in the mid-4 seconds to 5 seconds with a quarter mile time around 13 and a half seconds and a top speed at 155 miles an hour. And running off a 15 and a half gallon fuel tank, you can expect 21 miles per gallon in the city and 32 out on the highway. The overall length is 188.5 inches with a wheelbase at 107.1. The width is 75.4 with overall height at 54.3 inches. Taking a look at the styling for this 2021 Ford Mustang, this has a large upper grille with a chrome pony logo right in the center. It's finished off in black and you can see a large opening to allow cooling to the radiator. There's also a large opening in the lower grille for more cooling to the intercooler and you can see the satin black trim for this lower diffuser protruding forward to give it that aggressive design. You can also see a functional cutout on the farthest sides of the bumper to let air go into the bumper and pass through out around the front tires for better efficiency and aerodynamics. You can see the turn signals above that. And then you get a set of LED projector beam headlights with LED daytime running lights. They have a really cool three bar design into them that just add to the style of the Mustang. There's a lot of sharp body lines all around the front end and it flows through the hood seamless to give this that wide appearance. You're also gonna see two heat extraction vents in the top portion of the hood with really sharp body lines on each side of it leading to the back side of the hood. The whole front end flows together very well to give it that muscular wide appearance. And as we move our way to the side profile, you can see how the front fenders have a nice arch in them. They flow into a sharp body line going through the center portion of these doors. We also do get a set of body colored door handles and body colored mirror caps. And then another sharp body line in the lower portion of these doors with another black piece for the side skirt to match that front splitter. And there's also a sharp body line above the rear tires to really give it that wider appearance. And the whole side profile has that classic fastback design to make that Mustang have that iconic look. This Mustang also features a set of 19 inch wheels finished off in polished aluminum. They're a split five spoke design and contrast very well to this orange paintwork. And you can also see the pony logo right in the center and this Mustang features ventilated rotors. And then moving to the rear end of this Mustang, you can see the shark fin antenna on the roof as well as some body lines on the roof to match the hood. We have the third brake light on the top portion of this glass and you can see how everything flows right into this trunk. The trunk has a nice body line around the back side of it, giving it that ducktail design. You can see the pony logo right in the center with black trim all around it leading to the taillights. These have the traditional three bar Mustang taillights with a really cool three dimensional look as well as sequential turn signals. There's a backup camera in the center as well as four parking sensors within the rear bumper. You have a satin black rear diffuser that has a really bold design with your reverse light right in the center as well as some fins and this car features the quad tip dual exhaust. So there's a good look at the exterior and some of the specs on the 2021 EcoBoost Ford Mustang. Comment down below, what do you guys think of the spec with the bright orange and the polished aluminum wheels? It's a pretty cool looking car. We now have Ford's key fob, all the buttons and the pony logo. If I go ahead and lock the car, and then if I double tap on the engine start stop button, it'll roar to life. You hear the four cylinder start up and then just tapping the button once, it automatically shuts off. And keeping the key fob in my pocket, all I have to do is grab the door handle, the car will automatically unlock and we can check out the interior. This spec features a black cloth interior and you're also gonna notice silver accents as well as carbon fiber design. If we go ahead and take a look at the door panel now, finished off in black, you can see some black leather along the armrest with some padding and stitching and a little bit of fabric design. We also have your grab handle right here, both your window controls and mirror controls, and then an aluminum color release handle with lock and unlock, part of the audio system as well as some storage. And then you get Mustang and the pony logo on the door sill. And then moving to these seats, you have power controls up front with a manual reach line really nice looking bolsters you can see the black fabric and all the contrast stitching and then in the center of these seats you can even see racing stripes which is a really cool touch and you get mustang in the top portion of these backrests and really large bolsters along the back you can see more of the white stitching leading its way all the way up to the headrest and then spinning around to the steering wheel it's wrapped in black leather and we get more aluminum accents and then now inside the mustang keeping my foot on the brake we can go ahead and fire it up Oh, <laughs> 
If we go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel now, you can see some of the Bluetooth and audio controls on the left side, as well as all the cruise control settings. We have more Bluetooth controls on the right, and then a pad to control the center LCD screen. We also get a set of steering wheel mounted paddle shifters that have a really nice look and feel to them. If we go ahead and take a look at the gauge cluster now, we have your speedometer on the right with fuel level and your tack on the left with the engine temperature. If I scroll through the center screen, you can see the digital speedometer. We have tire pressure that comes up and then a lot of vitals within the vehicle, which is really cool to see. If I scroll over to the left, we can go into different information like your trip and fuel information. You can scroll through everything here. And then going back, we have track apps as well. You can see your lap timer and line lock. We also have your brake performance, acceleration timer and acceleration. And then if I go into driver's assistance, you can see all the different safety settings within this car. And then going under settings, we can actually control the exhaust mode. We have quiet mode, then all the way up into a track mode. The valve opens up, sounds much more aggressive. And then on the left side of the steering wheel, we have all your headlight controls with some carbon fiber design around it. We also have a little bit of storage right here. You can pull this out, and then we have the trunk release on the right side. Taking a look at the dashboard now, we can see the black leather design with some stitching. And then right in the center, there's a massive air vent in the top, three air vents as well, and then more of this carbon fiber look. You can see the Mustang logo over on the right side of the dash. And then moving to the center screen now, you can see how everything looks for the Sync 3. Really nice display with configurable settings. You can tap the audio icon to get into that menu. You also have climate controls that will come up and really control everything in this. You can tap your phone as well, go into your apps, and then under settings, you can see a few more items that pop up. And if I go ahead and put the car into reverse now, you can see the backup camera comes up with some guidelines, has a really HD display, and then putting us back into park. You can see some controls underneath the screen for all of your radio and climate. You have volume on the left and the tuning on the right. And then we have physical climate controls below that. We have a nice toggle for the dual zone climate. You can easily turn it off. You have all the different zones. Down below this, you have your hazards on a really nice looking toggle. You can flip that up. We also have traction control and then your two different drive modes. The one on the left, this will control the steering wheel feel. You have a comfort mode, a normal mode, as well as a sport mode. And then the actual drive mode for the vehicle, you can toggle this. We have a normal mode, you can go into the sport plus, track mode, and then you get your drag racing mode and then a snow and wet mode. There's also a little bit of storage down below with a USB port as well as a 12 volt. You can see the way the shifter looks with the leather boot around it. Then we also get a manual park and brake with more of the leather. You have two cup holders with some silver trim and then a nice black along the armrest with some stitching. We can open this up and check out the storage space. You have a pretty good amount of space in there with a USB and 12 volt. And then taking a look at the glove box, just pressing this, it opens right up and you have a ton of space in here as you would expect. And then one last look at the overall interior now. I think the carbon fiber design has a really cool look for the Mustang. And then it's very simple in here, very easy to use, good layout, nice and comfortable. We also have a black headliner with a frameless mirror and then all of your dome lights. The Mustang also has back seats. If I grab the lever behind the front seat and pull it out of the way, you can see what kind of access we have. The rear seats are finished off just like we saw up front, even with the racing stripes in the center. They have a really cool bucket design to them. All right, so then hopping into the back seat of the Ford Mustang now, it's actually not that bad for what it is. If I go ahead and pull the seat down, you do get a little bit of cutouts for your knees to make it a little bit more comfortable. And I'm five foot 11 and I have the driver's seat set at my height. As you can see, I am fitting back here. My head is pretty compromised. I don't really have much headroom. Uh, you kind of gotta be a little crooked or hunch forward a little bit. But in a pinch, the Mustang is usable for full grown adults, which is very convenient. And then you even have the lever back here, you can easily lift this up and then climb I'm right out. And then to take a look at the trunk space, you can use the button on the key fob, the one on the interior, or there is one right in the center. You can press that, it pops nice and open. You can see how much storage space we have in the back of a Mustang. Definitely pretty roomy for being just a two-door car, very squared off here, and it has a lot of storage space for luggage. And then now with the seats folded down, you can see just how much more space we have in the back of a Mustang, even going into the side now. They fold down nice and flat, as you can see. There's a really large opening to the trunk to make the Mustang super practical. All right guys, so we are setting off in the 2021 EcoBoost Mustang right now, getting up to some speed. <laughs> so I'm in the most conservative driving mode right now. I have the quiet exhaust mode, comfort steering, and just the normal driving mode. And of course, we're just in basic automatic right now. So we'll get our bearings with it and then play around with the performance because that active exhaust sounds really impressive. I wasn't expecting it to sound that good in the track mode. But right now, getting comfortable in the car. This is a nice car for just a daily driver. We have a really good view out, large windshield, really 
good mirrors to easily see what's going on behind me, a lot of glass on the left and right, and then looking over my right and left shoulder, you actually have a pretty good view out. I don't really see any blind spots in the car, especially with your mirrors adjusted properly. These seats are really comfy. You can definitely get them in a really good position. I like the bolsters to them, and there's a lot of padding too. Armrests are in a great place. The steering wheel feels really nice. It's just a comfortable car for normal driving, which I really like about Mustang. It's a very well-rounded car. And in the last week, I've driven now the Mach 1 and a GT, so I've got a really good understanding of the Mustang in the last few weeks. Uh, this one, nice and comfortable as you would expect. And then even using the interior interface, I think all the buttons are laid out very well to where it's nothing complicated or confusing. You have a really easy to understand screen with everything that can come up on it. And then the physical buttons down below just make it simple to use. I like how there's nothing distracting in the car. The gauge clusters are very easy to read. And then as far as interior road noise, things like that, like I said, it's comfortable sitting here. The suspension is absorbing the bumps really nicely. It's just a fixed suspension, no magnetic ride or anything in this particular spec, but it's doing everything I needed to do. You don't really hear any wind noise or road noise or things like that. So it's a really nicely put together car and pretty insulated from the outside elements. We're going around 45 miles an hour. So with that said then, if I put this down into the sport mode and just tap the paddle, we're now into manual. I can play around with it a little bit. I'm gonna toggle the steering wheel control into sport. And then for the drive mode, we'll go right into track mode just for the heck of it. And with that, we have to say, okay, we're in track mode exhaust as well and we'll feel out the way the exhaust sounds and the throttle response and everything like that. We have a lot of torque from this turbo engine, so I'm excited to feel that out. We got a nice little twisty road to feel everything out. <laughs> it gets you right up to speed. That was up to about 55 miles an hour. Wow, throttle response is super sharp as well. And if I actually just go back into normal exhaust mode, Track mode exhaust. <laughs> you do hear a lot of engine noise, I would say, and the exhaust you can hear a little bit more in the track mode like that. I think the valve opens up a little bit more once you get more into the throttle. But as you're going around some sharper turns, the car feels pretty flat and composed. It's not a crazy sports car, this one being more of a basic EcoBoost and no track pack or anything like that. But the car still holds its own for what it is. Now the transmission is pretty responsive. It's not a crazy fast dual clutch like you get in the GT500 or anything like that, but it does the job. We have another acceleration. It's coming to a stop. The brakes do a really good job. And then getting back up to speed, shifting the gears a little bit. actually pretty responsive as soon as you hit the paddle within a split second I can already see the tack change and we're into the next gear so it actually is a pretty quick shifting transmission and the fact that this car even has the line lock and drag racing mode that's really cool to see that even on the EcoBoost. Down shifting a little bit coming into another sharper turn and we'll put it into just normal automatic in track mode. Let the car do the shifting. <laughs> you feel the gear change a little bit which is kind of nice. I wouldn't say this is the most performance oriented car as you would expect, but it still is really cool to have this blend of a car in this vehicle. We have a really sharp turn coming up. We'll test out some more of that. So around this sharp turn now, nice and composed. <laughs> yeah, nice and seamless the way it shifts. We'll go back to quiet mode and see how much things tone down a little bit, just giving it some gas. Wow, major difference now in quiet mode. That is really cool how everything is like that with this car. So then with that said, it's really nice that you can toggle everything back to normal into just sport mode. That's the normal driving mode, I guess, for this car. And then into the comfort mode for steering, back into drive. And the whole car now just settles down. It's back to just a normal, comfortable daily, good gas mileage, things like that. Practical enough with the rear seats and the trunk space. So really not a hard car to argue with. And I like how you can spec these Mustangs pretty much any which way possible. There's literally a Mustang for anyone, starting from a basic EcoBoost with an automatic, and then you can bump it up with some performance packages, the active exhaust. Of course, you can get a six-speed manual in this car. There's other trim levels like the Mach 1, the Shelbys, of course. You can get a different six-speed in some of those cars, so it's really cool how many variations there are of Mustang. But for the 2021 EcoBoost, really cool car overall. I think it has a lot to offer, a really good blend of a sporty vehicle and a nice, comfortable daily. But I think that is then it for the 2021 Ford Mustang EcoBoost. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out Mooresville Ford, and huge shout out and thank you to them for providing this Mustang for today's video. They
have a huge selection of the 2021 selection of Fords, so definitely check them out. But that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you all next video.